On this month's edition of Eat Here With Me, I am taking you on an all-meat journey. That's right, I tried the carnivore diet, but I made the mistake of doing this like two weeks before Thanksgiving, so once Thanksgiving rolled around, I stopped. So I'm definitely going back to it after the holidays because I loved it. I actually dropped like 10 pounds in two weeks and felt amazing. So if you want some meal ideas on how you can eat on the carnivore diet, then keep watching. So up first is classic steak and eggs for breakfast. So I like ribeye steaks, mostly because they're filled with fat and they're so filling and so delicious. Any type you got is good. Choice, prime, grass-fed, not grass-fed, I don't care because they're kind of expensive, right? So basically, I like to grill my ribeyes on the grill. I even grill even when it's winter time outside. Um, but you want to season your steak at least like a day ahead of time for best flavor, but you can obviously season it you know, a few hours before too. And I like to still season it with salt and pepper. Some people can't tolerate pepper, and so you can leave that out if you don't want to, but um, definitely I have to have salt and pepper on mine for some flavor. And this is a great breakfast option for you if you need to have breakfast in the mornings. I found that as I continued on with this way of eating that I was not hungry in the morning whatsoever. Um, so I actually just ate two meals a day. It was mostly lunch and dinner, but there's my steak on the grill. Don't judge me by the burnt appearance. I only know how to grill with one temperature and that's at 500 degrees. I like to burn everything. I don't know, I like the taste of charcoal and cancer, I guess. And for my eggs, I'm using duck eggs. These are duck eggs that I found at a local farmer's market grocery store that we have. I like them because the, the yolk is humongous and the egg is a little bit bigger compared to a chicken egg. So like I have these pasture raised chicken eggs in the back. So you can see they're a little bit bigger, but the yolk's humongous. And so when you prepare your eggs, keep in mind because we're doing carnivore, you need to use butter rather than like an avocado oil or olive oil just because those are more vegetable based if you're staying like true to the diet. But there's my duck egg. You can see how huge the yolk is compared to the white. So lots of fatty goodness in there. But you can definitely use chicken eggs too. And then there's my ribeye steak. It's so delicious. See, even though I burned the hell out of the outside, the inside is perfect. And this was delicious. Up next is salmon in the air fryer. You can bake your salmon in the oven or in the grill too, but I like to utilize my air fryer just because I feel like it cooks it a lot faster. And this is the air fryer I use. It's a Philip one. I don't know what model number it is, but basically we want to preheat the air fryer um, at the lowest heat and for about five minutes. I don't know why I just read somewhere that that's what you should do. Um, but in our air fryer basket, we're going to lay down some parchment paper. And this is key because you don't want the skin sticking to the metal grate. And then we'll pop it in the air fryer and cook it at 390 for about seven minutes. The great thing about the air fryer is, is that you can pull it out at any time just to check and see how it's cooking. And there we go. There's my perfectly baked or grilled or fried, I don't know, I guess it's fried, right? Fried salmon. It's perfect. And even though it looks like there's a little bit of white coming up on top inside, it was nice and pink and delicious and still flaky. Love salmon. Up next is a crock pot roast. This is a chuck roast that I picked up. This one happens to be grass fed. I love this recipe because it's something that you can just put in either the night before or the morning of and you got dinner when you get home from work. And all you do is put in the roast. That's it. You put in the roast, season it with some salt and pepper and turn it on. Turn it on low for at least like five to eight hours or so. But you don't even have to add any sort of fluid to this at all because it's going to make its own au jus fluid just from all the fat and juices that come off the meat. And so there we go. This is like five or six hours later. It's just perfect. Has that wonderful broth that you can just spoon on. It's so tasty. And for those of you that are concerned about gluconeogenesis and too much protein on this diet, I actually tested my blood ketones every day and I was still in ketosis. I was anywhere from like 0.8 to 1 um, millimolars on ketones on this diet. So still a ketogenic diet. And the great thing is, is that I was not hungry. Like protein sustains you throughout the day. And so it's really easy to only eat like one or two meals a day on this diet. If you guys want to see more videos on the carnivore diet in the future, just let me know down in the comments below and make sure you subscribe to my channel.